Within this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer audio tapes and recordings into MP3s with using Audacity. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need two things. You're going to need one, a stereo plug, and two, a stereo, a recording table, or even a phone. Now, where do you purchase the stereo plug at? You can actually purchase a stereo plug at your local Radio Shack, or you can even purchase this at Best Buy. So I'm going to go to bestbuy.com. Now under the search bar, all you really need to type in is stereo plug, and you should get you should get your answer. Um, as you can see, there's well, once this loads up, as you can see, there's actually quite a quite a number of stereo plugs you can choose from. However, the top stereo plug is actually the best bet for you. This stereo plug turns into a plug cable. Um, this is six feet. This would be long enough for you to actually plug into your computer and have a have a nice amount of distance between your stereo and where you're sitting at at your desk or or whatever the case may be. Now, as you can see, these plugs, um, as I like to say, they're they're two Audis. Um, you don't want a plug that is going in and the other going out or any an Audi. Um, pretty much one one end of the plug is going to plug into your stereos or your recording table or phones microphone uh, not microphone but a headphone jack while the other plug is going to plug into your computer's microphone jack. Now once you purchase your plug and you have your accessories, your stereo, your turntable, or recording table, and phone. Uh, you're pretty much ready to go now that we're in Audacity. Um, I'm going to show you that it's really fairly easy to record stereo tracks. Uh, to be honest, uh, with the settings that Audacity already has set up, you really don't need to change anything. All you have to do is go up and hit record. However, since my my microphone is plugged into my microphone jack, you're going to have to bear with me for a second while I plug the stereo plug into the microphone outlet. All right, now that I have my microphone plugged back in, um, I'm sure you noticed. I'm sure you noticed that uh, when I was actually recording from my phone, that the that the recording um, being recorded was mute. This is not anything to be alarmed about. When you record from your from your stereo tapes or your recording table, it will it will be mute. This is not anything to be alarmed about. However, when you uh, go to click the play button you will actually notice that you will be able to hear everything clear and at the actual volume that it was recorded from your stereo or your phone. I mean, there's not that many exercises that we haven't done, you know, lifting wise, you know what I'm saying? So, to go to bars is something different, so it's a challenge, it's good. We did uh, a max out of fours. And that is how you transfer stereo tapes, recordings, and how you record actual live um, live radio shows. Now, how you save those, you will go up to File, you will go down to Export, you will select the folder you wish to store the file under, or the MP3. I'm going to save mine within my day drive, or my hard drive. I'm going to name this sample and as you can see below, it's already stored as an MP3 file for my option. Um, for those of you who are new to Audacity and may not have transferred an MP3 file before, um, you're going to want to download an, a lame MP3 encoder 
Uh, the lame MP3 encoder can actually be downloaded for free from Audacity's home website. Uh, once you have all that taken care of, all you have to do is hit save. Okay. And it uploaded really quick. Now to make sure it's actually there in the file that I stored it under. I'm just going to go down to my hard drive. And there it is. Sample. Going to double click. It's going to take a little bit for my iTunes to upload, so bear with me. Now it was silent in the beginning, but it should hop right into it. Exactly into the his his sport. Come ahead and get on the rings, get on the bars, stuff that's kind of just fun. Yeah. So those and that and that is my uh that's my audio file transferred over. Now I'm hoping this video has been helpful. And for those of you who may have old audio tapes that you want to transfer over, um Hopefully this will save you time and effort from actually having to go out and purchase uh, purchase the artist CD all over again. Um, because it would be a shame for you to purchase a CD when all you have to do is just purchase a stereo plugin, upload your stereo tape to Audacity, and just record it into an MP3. Um, like I said though, I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you.